Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Noma Factory, GTCU hard mode. Alright, so here we are today, episode 94, and uh, so last episode we were working on the crystal circuits, and there was some weirdness about crystal chips and all that. I went ahead and I customly cr uh, completed these quests via commands so that I would be able to track things better. Uh, so right now, we're kind of wanting to go towards ZPM, but also working on Nakwada and Nakadria. And we will need to get into ASOX, as well as working towards Infusion. Because we're eventually going to need it for the Tier 7 ships and the Tier 8 ships. Right. Now, I did do some work off camera. Um, let's see, I did a... Alright, so the carbon fibers, right? Carbon fibers, I had that in a really outdated machine recipe. So I went and moved it into our autoclave factory. So now we can make 16 at a time using 9 millibuckets of PBI and the carbon dust, right? Uh, neobium, titanium, EBF. Basically, we have neobium, titanium on stock now, which... Neobium, you can see we have about 520. It should be 512, but I think we have an extra somewhere, somehow. Uh, da, 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 Osmeridium mixer. Oh, Osmer mixer. Yeah, so I... I moved the Osmeridium recipe away from the Alloy Blast Smelter to making dust and then putting that into its own dedicated EBF. So that's, gonna, that's working on Osmeridium right now, I think, actually. I don't think we have our limit yet. No. Okay, so we have 33 ingots. I just did it today. But we have dust on stock always, and there'll be ingots being smelted up. And then... Uh, so, oh yeah, I, I made the circuit assembler factory uh, because we were able to make the uh, crystal circuits finally. So that is done. I'll get to that. And HPIC. Oh yeah. So the HPIC wafer is now being made in our engraving factory down here. Uh, I think it was right here. Or no. Oh wait, sorry. It was the HPIC. That's the that's the uh, chemical reactor. There it is. So the HPIC wafer is now being made in here. There's probably other wafers that I'm forgetting to do, but I haven't gotten around to doing them yet. And then, uh, yeah, of course, the main attraction, the circuit assembler. So this has been upgraded. Or this has been set. Oops, where is it? To handle all of our circuits from, you know, good integrated to crystals. So that... Is pretty sweet. Not to mention that I've also done some upgrading. Where is it? Ah, here we go. As you can see, we have the master parallel control hatch. So that's going to give us the option of 16 recipes at a time. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get the next hatch until we're in ZPM and... Well, it's just, just ZPM at this point, I think. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're going to need Draconium first, among other things here. But I think the biggest... Oh, Uranium, Rhodium, Dianaqua... Di, Dianaquadide? I don't know. We'll just call it URDW. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's going to be a thing down the road for sure. Okay, so I think I started to make an EBF. Isn't that done yet? Hold on, what's going on here? Did... Hold on, let me see here. No, that should be empty. So what's with the assembler? Is it... Why is it jammed? Why is it jammed? It's jammed. Does it not have... Hmm, it's missing something. What does this require? Silicon rubber, silicon rubber. Wait, hold on. Oh, I think this... Oh, 
shoot. <sighs> Silicone. Polydimeth. Chlorine. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hey, we are getting chlorine, though. Uh, let me check something here. Wait, is there not? Nothing. Chlorine. Water. Okay, I think this is the one. It threw me off there because the chlor the methane color was not as bright as I'm used to. Hold on. Let me see if I can't egg this along. Because we are using chlorine like no one's business here. And it's been always a pain in the ass to trying to keep chlorine handy. I'm hoping any second now this should get the chlorine that it needs. Unless I just have no means of chlorine production right now, which is very likely. Uh, oh. Where's my hammer? I put the hammer away. Damn it. Okay, this is not great. So, let's see. Where did my driller get off to? Oh, no, it's not in the overworld, is it? I think it's in the nether. So, I actually might have to pause here and go and get some chlorine, which means I'm going to have to go... Uh, find a salt deposit and put down my miner. Unless, is it getting the chlorine that it needs? I don't think it is getting any chlorine. Oh wait, you know what? Hmm, okay. Let's, I'm probably gonna have to pause recording or go and find some salt. Either way, let's see, I think the nether. Oh god. Oh jeez, that was loud. I don't know if it's loud on your end, I'll probably check that in post. Okay, well this, I set this up to drill some time ago. So I might have to go ahead and reformat this, put it elsewhere, and go find a chlorine vein. This has been a real godsend, honestly. And now that we have like an abundance of high octane gasoline, I have no uh, troubles with just breaking the uh, turbines and getting no gas back. The generators, whatever they are. Okay, let's see here. Alright. I think we got everything, but just in case, make sure those are pulling up everything. Alright. So let's go home, and let's see if we can't... Um... Go find a spot of tin. So let's see. Scanner. Do I have it? Oh, it's right here. All right. So let's see if we can't just teleport around here and find some salt. Nothing in this quadrant. Or not enough, anyway. Oh, there's something up there. So let's see, if we go up north about three chunks. 
Where am I? No. I think I forgot to turn off animal sounds on this client. I don't think I updated recently. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, okay, over to... Okay, I think, was this chunk? Okay, one over. Uh, let's see, torches. Okay, so I'm probably gonna set up, you know, let me just turn that off now, music and sounds. Great. Okay, so probably got to set up the digger here. And ideally, this will give us quite a lot of salt. Because if I'm not mistaken, well, let me just double check here, actually. Okay, so it does requ it does produce three times more crushed ore than a macerator. So instead of one to two, for example, well, actually, what would the salt be? Salt, 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 salt. So instead of, say, one to four, it's one to 12. So we get 12 pieces of salt ore, crushed salt ore, from the, the digger here. So that's pretty... Pretty nice. Uh, do I have any building materials? I do. Oh, I hate that. Oh, okay, that works, I guess. Um, okay, I think I should just be able to plop this down. And my terminal. Because I'm lazy. Incomplete. It's probably missing something somewhere. Uh, did one of my casings... I think I deleted it somehow. Okay, let me just see. Steel... Frame. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. That's formed. Okay. So, yeah, I should have made sure of the salt issue today, but, uh, oh well. I'll just, uh, be recording this in two parts. Okay, so that's going to be set up there. And we'll get the power generation here. All right. And do do do. Boop and boop. Actually, is it? Okay. Now, I'll get that tank. All right. And... We don't want that in there. I hope they didn't pull anything out. I don't think it would. Okay. Uh, wait a minute, is that... There we go. Okay. So, let's see. Oh, loud. Okay. So that is not piping power in yet. There we go. Okay. So that should be spitting out items in here. And we're just going to plop it in there. And I'll take care of that. Okay. So... With the new digger here, we're going to put a load here, and we're going to get rid of, well, one, this, but also this, and digger. There. Okay, so that is going to dig up some salt for us, hopefully. Now, it won't be right away that we get salt, unfortunately. Um... Got the silicon chlorine, silicon rubber. Is there any better way to get more of that? So there's the dimethyl, this chloromethane. Wait, do we have chloromethane on stock? 
which is expected. Is there any chlorine less way to do this? There is. Hydrochloric. You don't have any hydrochloric either. Um. Let's see here. I'm just trying to think what to do. Um, Lithium chloride, alkali chloride, rock salt, sulfuric, salt is sulfuric. Already kind of doing that. There's not really a super most well, appetite way. I'm pretty sure I'm doing that. Okay. Um, we might be kind of screwed here for a bit. We got time, about 15 minutes. Okay. Um, I might have to pause here for a bit and we'll come back. Ammonia. Chloric, water, chlorine, benzene. Chlorine, 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 chlorine. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to have to pause here. Hopefully, later on, I'll be getting a good deposit of salt. And we'll continue on. All right, uh, back later, I suppose. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Okay, so uh, I almost said the intro there for a second. Okay, so uh, I took a break from recording again. And I did some off-screen off work. Uh, in between um, when I last recorded and now. I think the biggest thing is that I made a Nakwita Alloy EBF, and that is actually producing us some ingots. We have our stock filled up actually at this point. I also had set off that miner in... Was it the... Yeah, it was, so we set up that salt miner to get us some more salt. And then I also sent off some more ships today. Uh, you can see we have a surplus of salt right now. And I think I also... I upped our allowance of silicon rubber fluid to 256 buckets. So hopefully we'll have more on stock and that won't become an issue again. Um... I don't think I changed too much down here. I was made aware of the fact that uh, it's, it's definitely not a good idea to combine more than the intended amount of amps over one wire. You can see that these wires are now split. So we have uh, one diode there, one diode there, and they're setting power out. So what I might need to do is up the IV diode to an LUV diode and change out the energy hatches here so we can send more amps that way. Yeah, okay, so um, I think that was the big thing. Oh, well, I also did set up a EBF. Oh, well, that's another thing here too. I set up an EBF to start making a stracodium ingots because off camera, I also went and set up another miner in the end actually. And I sent that to farm Draconium. I was contemplating seriously today doing the whole manual and then Dragon's Breath route. Or that, yeah, doing that. Or the other method of manually mining it. But then I, hey, I remembered we have a miner. And we can get three times the amount of ore. So, yeah. We have uh, quite a bit of Draconium now. So we'll be fine for a while. Okay, so... Let's see, what was I intending to do? I needed cables. Let's see here. We're at that point that we're going to need superconductor wires. Uh, draconium, double plates. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't see... 
much. I mean, I guess we could go in the way of Nakwa to Alley quest here and go towards the ZPM circuits. Uh, Nakadria. Down, uh, microburst. We are going to need to make one of these soon. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to figure out something. Okay, so I'm back. I had to go back to my other video part and make sure I wasn't doing something. But as far as I can tell, I was really just doing updates and going to find salt. All right, so I guess we can go down here then. So let's get started with the Nakwa to Alloy quest. I mean, this isn't going to be the best thumbnail, but it probably won't be the one we use, but it's there. Um... Put that back now. All right, so we're going to need holes and PBI. Yeah, so we could make it in the um, in the uh, mega assembly that we have. So ZPM machine hole, right? So casing, I guess. Yeah. So we'll get rid of that. While we're at it, we're going to need the bender recipe. Bender. Bender is great. Okay. Uh oh my god, my eyes bugging the crap out of me. Let's see, assembler. Or circuit assembly. Okay. That goes there, right? Yeah. No. Okay, we're gonna need another uh thing in there. That takes LV. Oh, it's going to need PBI as well. Okay, so you know what? I'm just going to do this. Input bus. I'm going to upgrade our mega assembler to take the eight circuit recipes. Okay. Where is it? There, there it is. Eight, all right, and there's a bus cable. All right, let's go down to our oh, our assembler, and I guess we'll put it right here. Okay, good. Put that in there, and we are gonna need a interface. Bing, bing, bada, boom. Ooh. Um, okay, that's in there, good. And then... Copy. Okay. And I guess that will go there. So now if we ask for a ZPM machine casing... Looks like it's making it. There we go. Bada boom. Actually, I'll try. I'll get the the hole. Wait, yeah, the hole before I do anything else. Uh, wait a minute. What was my recipe making here? Oh, we can get rid of that. And okay, so ZPM machine hole. Hole. I think we have that. And then assemble, let's see, factory. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Sweet. And we'll put that there. Actually, I went. All right, so now we have machine holes for ZPM. Let's put that away. I think we have about a few more minutes in this episode. Uh, ZPM circuit assembler with your Znaquita alloy based machine holes and crystal processor mainframe squared away. You could finally get on the path to making a ZPM assembler. This tier of assembler unlocks wetware as well as, well as handling crafting recipes. Yeah, okay. So we 
kind of already have this in our factory form. Uh, large circuit assembler. We can get that quest taken care of because we already have that. Okay. So, Captain K, I've been kind of putting this off for a while, but that's the one thing that we can start getting into very soon. We still have a lot of other things to go to, like, for example, the microminer here. So, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go into the microminer. So, let's do double machine. No. Double and dirium. Double. Okay. Uh, I should probably request that before I make the, the machine. Wait, what's our Enderium supply like? Okay, we have the ingots, but I might want to make that more. Oh, geez. Okay. And now for the miner. Do we, do we automate this? Okay, no, we didn't automate it at all. I thought maybe I had like set it up for future, but uh, no. Okay, so I think the tier six micro miner is going to be oh, yeah, elite. Okay, so let's break off one of these. We'll grab our holders here. Grab the holder. Now, where did I put the encoder? Oh, okay, it's down here. Okay, so load that up, and we're going to need the elite. I. Don't think we're going to have any MBT data issues here, but let's find out. So if I put this back and then there and say I requested the tier six micro miner. Okay, so we don't have the resonant thruster and we don't have the engine core, which is expected. Okay, so let's go ahead and make those two things and before the episode ends. Okay, so engine core, right? So we're going to need the enderium. And that's going to be an IV reactor and do we even have, okay, don't, no, we don't have the Enderium one yet. That's understandable. So let's put that in there and, um, uh, I don't think we have an IV alloy smelter. We do we? IV alloy. Okay, there we go. So if I requested the engine core, it still needs the plates. Interesting. All right. Enderium plate. And Enderium rod. Okay. Rod and bender. Okay, so engine core. That one's good to go. And now we need a thruster. I don't know if we can make this up top without anything else. Okay, we need the dynamo. I haven't had to make this in a long time. Oh, Xeron. Wait, have we, I don't think we made Xeron yet, have we? Mm, okay, so we have not made Xeron yet. What's this going to cost us? Molten Xeron, Tungsten, Nickel, Cobalt, Niobium, Iron Dust. Can you not make the dust? I guess not. Okay. So smelter it is. Let's go ahead and get that going. It's going to be a 15. And let's see. 10, 12, 14. Wait. 10? 10, 10, 12, 14, 16. All right. And that's going to go in our 15 ABS. Okay, so we can make that, um, but we need the plates. So let's try to get that. Wait, wrong thing. Vendor. There we go.
Okay, so can we request a tier six? I think we're missing one thing. Oh, the vibrant metal gear. Vibrant metal gear. I don't know if you heard that, but my battle net just came online. Okay. Gear. You know what? Let me take those out. A V I V alloy. You know, at some point I might want to make a processing array for these ingots. Okay, tier six micro miner on its way. So this is probably going to take a bit of time. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to end this episode here and we'll start off in the next episode with the item made. May move on to the large microverse projector. I mean, we can't really use it yet until we get the tier seven micro miner and that's going to require its own thing. Although, yeah, okay, we are going to need to get into fusion. So fusion would be the next step. So we got to go from double plates. Oh, yeah, I think I actually set up the recipes for the empower, which um, we'll get to that. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to get into infusion. And I'll need to figure out where I'm going to be putting this because... If you've seen my other Let's Play seasons, it's going to be a big structure eventually. It is essentially a square with 10 blocks, uh, three on two sides, two on the other. And it's going to be a tower that's going to go up into the air, effectively. I might even put it somewhere back here where I might knock down one of these walls and then make a really high tower or something. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do. But for now, that's going to be the episode. I hope you did enjoy. I will see you all next time. That's all for now.